In this world, darkness abounds. Spiritual emptiness, useless goals, distractions, and anything that would shield us from the light. Jesus gives numerous I am statements in John. In John 8, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. In the midst of darkness, we have hope in Jesus. Despite emptiness around us, the Son of God and Savior of the world has said, He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And the darkness does not overcome the light, but rather Jesus has come to bring us into the kingdom of light, heaven, where there will be restoration for believers, no sorrow, and no sin. In that kingdom there will be neither sun nor moon. The glory of God illuminates it, and the Lamb of God is its light. And the nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light. Believe in the light of the world, Jesus, and be faithful to him, even until the very end. But while we are still here in this world, we have been commanded not only to believe in Jesus, but also to share this light with others. Believers are to represent Jesus well, as a chosen generation called to proclaim God's grace and to worship the Lord of all, who has called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Jesus said to his followers in Matthew 5, You are the light of the world. He compares us to a lamp. Nobody covers a lamp with a basket and gets any use out of it. We are to shine forth and to give light to those who so desperately need it. Believe in the light of the world, Jesus, and be an extension of his light, shining forth to bring redemption and hope to those stuck in darkness.